Hank Greenberg, nicknamed Hammer and Hank, is considered to be one of the greatest sluggers in baseball history. He spent most of his career playing for the Detroit Tigers in the 1930s and 1940s. Below are his home run total for each season that he played. Construct the stem plot. So when constructing the stem plot, what you're going to have is two parts. You're going to have a stem, and then you're going to have a leaf. Now this leaf part of it is going to be the rightmost digit. So we're going to separate this into two parts. So one is the stem and one is the leaf. So looking at the smallest number we have, in his first season he had no home runs. And in the middle of his career, the most he had was 58. So we're going to go from 0 to 58. So the stems are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The stem is going to represent the left side of the number. The leaf is going to be the right side of the number. So as I go through, I'm going to mark out each number based on the stem. I'm just going to write the leaf on the other side. One thing to make sure you do is keep your spacing consistent. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. So for the first piece of data, we have zero. So what I want to do next to zero is write a zero. So this is going to represent the number zero. A12, I already got the one, so I'm going to do a two. So understand this represents the number 12. 26, so I already got the 2 there, so I'm going to do a 6. 36. It's 1. So 1, technically before that, would have a 0. So this is 0, 1. 40, so I got the 4, so I'm going to write my 0. 58. Okay, 33. Now here's what I mean by keeping your spacing consistent. So after the 3, I'm going to put a 3 for 33. But make sure you keep that in line with the 1 that's above it. Okay, 41. So keep 4 and the 1 under that 3. So keep it consistent. 2, so that's 0, 2. 13, so 1 and then a 3. Make sure you line it up. 44, so 4 and 4, and 25. Okay, so this is a stem plot. One really neat thing to notice about the stem plot is that if I were to turn this to the left, then what you actually have is a really detailed histogram. So you can say, between 0 and 9, essentially, is what 0 is representing. You had three numbers in that category. The next one represents all the 10s. So 10 to 19, you have two numbers in that category. The 2 would be 20 to 29. You have two in that category. So you can see that if I were to make these the bars, this would actually be a very, very detailed histogram.